What's up you guys? Stoops back again with another video in the Lineage 2 Revolution tutorial series sponsored by Netmarble. This video series is aimed to uncover information that you might have missed while leveling your character or perhaps some features across the game that you're unfamiliar with. And in today's video, we are discussing the concept of rare skills. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, rare skills are a unique feature in Lineage Revolution that are there to kind of fill in the gaps and where your character is currently lacking. Now, currently in the game, there are four available rare skills and acquiring these rare skills are very important depending on what you're trying to accomplish in the game. Some rare skills are more beneficial in PVP while other rare skills are more beneficial in PVE. Depending again on where you're lacking, these rare skills are aimed to fill in the gaps and allow your character to more effectively progress through PVP or PVE. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm currently on a newly leveled Dark Elf Rogue, and I'm going to go over the rare skill process, how you get your first rare skill, and then how you will get one subsequently after. Now, during the time of making this video, there are currently four rare skills. The first one being Meteor Shower, a large AoE attack that has a three second damage over time effect and a short knockdown. And this one is my personal favorite for both PvP and PvE. The second one being Missile Bull, a high damage single target attack. The third one being Absolute Shield, which increases your defense and your resist. And the final one being Healing strike which increases your health regen based on your attack now like many things in lineage revolution there is a tutorial series process you may have noticed that you acquired your first rare skill missile bolt at level 18 or so or after completing chapter 2-7 and the game will give you a general rundown of how you acquire rare skills how you collect pages and turn them into scrolls now once again after completing that section of the game you are rewarded with missile bolt and throughout the game you will receive additional pages for finishing various quests throughout the game now to acquire these pages you might have to go kill some field bosses you may have to join up with a clan and do some clan dungeons or you may even have to shell out some blue gems to buy them on the trading post however all the options that i did just mention are a viable way of acquiring these pages and turning them into the scrolls that you need to create or craft these rare skill abilities. Now, while on your way leveling up your character, there are some rare skills that you might wanna look out for that are a little bit more valuable to some players than others. Now, unlike Missable, acquiring the other three skills, those being Meteor Shower, Healing Strike, and Absolute Shield, you're gonna to have to go out of your way to try and acquire these skills. However, some of these rare skills are more desired than others. One of the more sought after rare skills is Meteor Shower, and that is due to Meteor Shower's effectiveness in both PVP and PVE. For example, although many damage link classes like Hawkeye, Spell Howers, and Blade Dancers take advantage of Meteor Shower, even some of these support classes can take use of this ability. And on top of that, Meteor Shower is one of the more difficult rare skill abilities to attain. In Lineage 2 Revolution, knockdown stun effects are king in PvP. And this is due to the fact that much of the PvP, the open siege battles, the siege battles are open scale large battles, and many players frequently group up together to push down a progression point. And when fighting in Arena, your rare skills reset every single match, making damage abilities like Meteor Shower and Missable really effective as you can end the match in a matter of seconds. And this might be more effective than having a temporary shield or a small heal. Now perhaps you're already on your way to level 20 or you've already reached that threshold, but you still have not acquired any of the Meteor Shower pages. In order to get a Meteor Shower page, you must participate in a clan dungeon for the Ant Queen. However, it has to be on normal difficulty or higher. And this is why clans are so crucial to the success of your character in Lineage 2 Revolution. Now once you are able to complete this dungeon on normal difficulty, one page or more depending on the difficulty level of this scroll will be set inside your clan vault and from there your clan leader or the clan elder can kind of divvy out these pages depending on who they would like to give them out to now you also have a chance to earn one of these pages through your high grade loot box that you receive for completing this clan dungeon and remember if your clan is not high ranked enough to complete this dungeon you can open up this dungeon to the public you'll see players in chat spamming out that they need help for these clan dungeons and you can do the same now remember clan dungeons on a weekly reset however you can reset them with red star stones however that is a rare resource so keep that in mind now with that being said you need 10 of these pages to form a successful scroll to earn that ability. So it will end up taking you some time to acquire the Meteor Shower ability. So don't feel bad if you don't have it already. Now for the other three rare skill abilities, that being Missile Bolt, Healing Strike, and Absolute Shield, you can get these through doing other things in the game. Field bosses are an excellent way to try and acquire these pages to form these scrolls. Now when going to your mini map, you'll see this skull, and this gives you a timer for all of the active field bosses currently in the game. And it also shows you the rewards. Each field boss is a timer 
and it will show you the main loot. Now, some of these field bosses are more difficult than others. Some of them you'll be able to do by yourself, while some of them you'll need other players to complete. Now, keep in mind, you are likely to find other players trying to complete these field bosses to collect similar rewards. However, it is still a wise idea to try and acquire gear that have specific attributes such as bravery or protection that are aimed to help you fight down these various bosses. And from these bosses, you will see that you have a chance. Now, it is just a chance to acquire a specific page. Field bosses such as Silverbeard, Kazir, and Cena have a chance to drop pages for Absolute Shield, while you can see bosses like Amades have a chance to drop Healing Strike. And finally, the two lower CP recommended bosses, Spirit Shepherd and Zodiac, drop scrolls for Missile Bolt. Now, remember, it is just a chance. You might get a monster core, but it is still worth taking the time to farm out on the timer. You can keep track of when the boss is going to spawn, and you can catch these bosses on their rotation. Now, on the topic of Healing Strike, you can also acquire these pages from Varkaron, the other clan dungeon. Same rules as before. It is the same rules for the Ant Queen. It has to be normal difficulty or higher, and it will still have that same weekly reset unless your clan decides to reset it using those red star stones. Or if you're lucky, you can opt to join another group in the public chat. However, the chances are much more slim there. Now, leveling up your rare skills is different than leveling up your base abilities that just use simple skill points and adena. You acquire skill points almost daily through doing various features across the game. The game will simply reward you with skill points. You earn adena through almost everything else in the game. It will also inform you on the right-hand side of the screen what you will receive once you decide to level up that ability and spend the required adena and skill points. However, leveling up your rare skills takes some time as you have to acquire an additional 10 more pages each time to level up that rare skill of your choice. So you can opt to acquire the pages and the methods that we talked about before, or you can head to the trading post. The trading post is simply an auction house that you find on the game where you can put up various items or purchase various items. So you can use your blue gems to purchase various scrolls or pages of rare skills. Now, if you don't have any money or you want to earn some blue gems, you can put up some of the items that you have laying around. Perhaps you have a lot of enhancement scrolls that you've collected throughout the game. Maybe you have some S grade items that you're not using. Put those on the trading post, collect your gems, and use those towards acquiring various pages or even a full scroll book. Now, once you acquire these rare skills, it is up to you how you want to organize your deck. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish in the game, some rare skills or abilities might be more useful than others. Now, for the sake of this video, I have three decks organized one, two, and three. And keep in mind, all classes can utilize these rare skills. And each deck is suited for different situations. And the first one is my go-to deck. It has my basic abilities as well as Missile Bolt and Meteor Shower. Personally, I think Missile Bolt and Meteor Shower is best for PvP, such as scenarios like Arena, as well as in most PvE situations. But perhaps there is a time where you will need an extra shield. Perhaps you'll need some more healing output. If you're battling mobs, they're just much more above your level and you're trying to keep up this deck might be more useful. And then finally, I have my third build, which utilizes Meteor Shower and Absolute Shield, which offers a more well-rounded build for PvE and open-scale PvP. I will put some third-party resources in the description box below. And since all classes vary, you might find those resources a little bit more helpful. You might see that some skills are more beneficial to level up than others. You might find that some rare skills are more beneficial to acquire than others. However, I can't offer a general rule of thumb. Passive skills and buffs are generally sought after by many players as you get a lot of value from these skills. Depending on the role of your class, having various knockdowns and stunts in your toolkit is crucial for PvP. And then as far as rare skills go in PvP, it's really based on your class. If you're a damage dealer, most likely you want to take advantage of Meteor Shower number one and Missile Bolt. And then if you're a tanking class, then maybe it's important for you to take advantage of Absolute Shield and Healing Strike. Now this can vary. In PvE, you can use these rare skills to fill in areas that you're lacking. If you feel like when you're auto farming, you have a lot of damage output and you need more survivability, take advantage of Absolute Shield or Healing Strike. It might save you some resources on your potions. It might allow you to farm higher level monsters. However, if you feel like your damage output is low, then of course take advantage of Missile Bolt and Meteor Shower. So it's really up to you and your personal preference. It's up to your teammates and your clan members. It's important to design the toolkit that is right for you. But again, I'll put some third-party resources in the description box below that you guys can check out that might give you a little bit more information on your specific class. But that's going to do for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about rare skills or skills or anything related, you can leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Try not to miss me on my YouTube live stream answer all of your guys' questions in depth. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.